Hi, today we're talking about whether some of uh, you guys have requested this video about uh, helping drivers uh, in uh, bad weather conditions and even looking up the weather, what it's going to be like uh, wherever you might be sending your drivers. And uh, I just wanted to do a quick uh, video about this um, and just to tell you there is really nothing uh, special to it. I'm just going to show you what I use and uh, what has been working for me so far if you have any suggestions if um, you know uh, of a different app or different way to um, look up the weather for your drivers and for you know trucking dispatching companies uh, let me know in comments uh, so we can all learn something but here is uh, what i use everyone knows uh, weather.com uh, they are the biggest player out there uh, as far as uh, uh, websites go uh, but uh, to me, it's um, I don't like it that much because it's uh, slow. They have so many uh, advertisements, and uh, like even when you watch the videos, uh, they you know try to uh, make a big story about something, and then uh, usually, uh, in my opinion, even when you look up the weather, uh, it will. Um, kind of over exaggerate a little bit um, you may take everything uh, with a grain of salt as far as weather.com uh, comes they are you know they're in for the show you know to and then even uh, to entertain people a little bit I'm not sure they're accurate they're accurate but whatever they say um, just uh, be aware that it might not be as bad as they're saying you know they're just trying uh, to to make a show out of it uh, but anyway uh, so let's see uh, if you're looking uh, for whale and michigan which is right here by grand rapids uh, so i have it from here i have it here from uh, before and then uh, you have your uh, forecast for today here uh, but then um, you can also go to 10 day and then see like these all the apps that they have it the uh, advertisements and all that it kind of uh, it's a turn off now this 10 day weather tells us a little bit more so if you have someone that's going to be uh, traveling from uh, uh, Wayland Michigan to uh, let's say Fort Wayne Indiana uh, then you know we will look up Fort Wayne but obviously for tomorrow uh, so today is Monday and then um, tomorrow we can see that um, it's going to be uh, raining and snowing uh, and the temperature is going to be 38 but if you click on it uh, it will tell you a little bit more now you can also go to hourly uh, report here and then it will tell you um, you know by the hour like what's going to happen so that that's one of my favorites things to do so like let's say your driver is going to be there at uh, like 7 8 a.m on tuesday then you can see here it's going to be cloudy, cloudy, and then they're going to have a few showers uh, in, in late morning and then in the afternoon. But then another thing that's very useful is the radar. So if you go to radar, then you can see the current conditions. Um, so if we zoom out here, now it, it shows everything for Fort Twain. It may take a while to load, but if we zoom out, uh, we'll see that there is nothing... Uh, there no rain no snow but as you can see here uh, we have uh, all this sleet and snow and rain uh, so if we zoom in it's going to be showing a little bit better now what i like to do so let's say we have uh, someone in cleveland going to like rochester here and then we know that it's snowing right now here in this area and then they have this uh, uh, future radar which is pretty accurate it's it's really cool i i use this all the time so if you click on play uh, this slider will start moving and it will show you uh, you know at uh, each hour here uh, each minute what it's gonna look like so if you click on play we have passed and then uh, it's coming to now so now it's knowing but you can see that it's moving, uh, like see at one o'clock, it's going to moving at two o'clock. So you know that uh, at three o'clock is going to stop snowing Buffalo. And then at four o'clock, 
in Rochester, and then later they're going to uh, have some uh, rain uh, coming in. So that's kind of cool. Then you can know uh, this way where the snow is going to go uh, and the rain and all that. And you can tell your driver, hey, it's moving away. You know, in uh, two, three hours it will be gone and uh, stuff like that. So these are the basic uh, things here. Uh, another thing that uh, I used to use a lot, I haven't been using it uh, lately, is the classic weather maps. And then you can see like the precipitations and forecasts uh, uh, for the uh, United States and for certain parts. And uh, you see like extended forecast and a 24 hour precipitation estimate. And then you can, you can see uh, how much is it gonna snow and where and all that. So there are all kinds of maps. Another uh, website that I like a lot better is AccuWeather, and uh, it's similar to uh, the weather.com. You, you know, they have the weather radar, but not as many advertisements, and uh, they actually care more about weather and weather.com. Uh, they care more about stories because, uh, you know, they, they have a TV channel and all that, so they're a little bit for entertainment purposes there as well. Uh, but here on uh, AccuWeather, some people like that one better. And they're a little bit behind weather.com. You know, like a year or two ago, they, they were not this advanced. They were just basic weather. But now uh, they have uh, <clears throat> similar features to uh, weather.com. Uh, from there, uh, I'm going to go to Google Maps. And this one I also use a lot. So you have your uh, basic Google Maps uh, that show your uh, directions and all that. Uh, but if you uh, s type in traffic here and uh, just uh, hit enter, it will show you uh, all the current conditions and that's based on uh, users' phones. So, uh, you know, if you are driving in a car and uh, you're moving, then your phone will send um, uh, a message, well, not a, a message, but it will uh, be detected, the GPS will be detected by Google, and uh, depending how slow you're driving, uh, it will correspond to uh, the map. So all the people, all the users uh, that uh, have, you know, Google Maps and, you know, GPS and all uh, network uh, connections, uh, the, you know, Google will take all that in account and based on on how fast everyone is moving their phones they are gonna show it here on that map so if there is a traffic jam uh, that's why you see red and orange and yellow uh, because everyone is uh, uh, stopped and no one is moving and google uh, figures that out accord you know based on your phone and uh, what's nice about that like here in grand rapids where we are right now um, there are no traffic jams and everything is green. But since we had snow this morning, what this tells me is that all the uh, major highways are clean and people are driving normally. Uh, but if we zoom out now and then we go uh, where it's snowing. Let me see. See right here. And then if we go to weather and to radar, then we'll see that it's probably snowing over there. And that's why they have uh, all that slow traffic. So that, that's that area. See, it's snowing. Uh, so you see the traffic is moving slowly. Uh, you have uh, yellow, orange, and red. Well, actually, no yellow, just orange. And I think they have like dark orange. Uh, dark red, they have brown. Like, see, this is red and dark red, and this is almost brown, and that means they're really stopped. No one is moving at all. So, now if you have a driver going to this area, or if if they're already here, then you know uh, that the, the roads are bad. Okay, uh, there's a lot of uh, snow coming down, uh, there might be snow on the roads, they might be. Um, uh, it might be slippery. Uh, that's why everyone is moving so slow. Okay, and that's that's one of the biggest uh, signs that uh, 
that there is snow on the ground and when you see that uh, like if you come back in an hour or two hours and then you might see that this is becoming uh, more green that means that they're cleaning the roads the, the roads are getting um, cleaner or drier and uh, traffic is moving uh, faster so that's how you can ten, tell if it's snowing or if it's really bad now here on i-80 there are usually a lot of accidents when it's snowing and then you can see right here right now you know, uh, even the road is closed here, so you can tell uh, your drivers um, that the road is closed. It, it's probably a, a big mess here, and yeah, th these are not fun. And then let me see here, and then another road closure. So if you see something like this and you know you're, you'll have drivers over there, you may want to tell them uh, not to go there, avoid that area, maybe even stop down you know stop and pull over uh, to a safe place where they can wait for the storm to pass these areas where they have all this snow they um, uh, usually have uh, webcams and you can also look up webcams on uh, government's uh, state websites so i know like in colorado wyoming utah and uh, even in new york and pennsylvania they have um, their own websites from government that tell you traffic conditions so if we go to um, pennsylvania maybe uh, do dot or weather conditions dot weather we're gonna we're gonna go, go do uh, weather conditions first weather conditions <clears throat> so they have this website uh, 511 and like i said uh, a lot of these uh, states where where they have a lot of snow uh, they have uh, uh, government websites that are just made for that. So if you go to uh, 511 here, uh, they have a lot of things like constructions, uh, you know, closures, uh, that kind of stuff. So this is probably those closures that we just saw. And if you click on it, it says your multi-vehicle crash on I-80. Uh, yeah, all lanes closed. So it will tell you all that. Uh, I'm not sure if they have... Uh, cameras here i know they have cameras too uh, so if you go to travel conditions here let me see see like they have even blow trucks like where they are uh, in pennsylvania and you can see where where they're plowing snow right now it's just amazing and then traffic map let's see what their traffic that's the one we just oh yeah cameras right here so if you click on cameras here and then you see all the light. let's go over here where it's snowing really bad and then you click on this here and uh, let me see if they're going to show cameras or is it here nope let me see cameras cameras or maybe we should zoom in oh yeah zoom in so click on camera so this is not that bad i mean it's it's wet uh see about this one here let me see if they have a camera uh, up there where we have all that uh, traffic stopped mm, right here there is one camera yeah see this is where the tra traffic is stopped and a lot of states have these uh, uh, like i said uh, i know wyoming utah colorado uh, so some of these so what you would do uh, is like uh, you know just Google uh, color color radio uh, DOT road conditions something like that and uh, see like they have this here uh, from government and they have this here too so let me see if they have cameras too, road conditions uh, start so let me see Denver Colorado to uh, Littleton Colorado view the map and they have road conditions here as well closures uh, let me see and then you can choose whatever uh, you want here let me see about they have weather alerts right here 
and uh, cameras, let me see. So many cameras. Colorado likes cameras. Yeah, Colorado is fun in winter. I mean, not fun. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, you have that too. And then uh, there is this app, uh, Dry Weather, uh, that um, I uh, sometimes use, but this is, uh, it's a paid app. Uh, well, you can use some things for free, like under, 150, under uh, 850 mile radius, you can look up uh, the driving weather conditions. So what you do, like you see right here, it will tell you like you put in your um, starting and uh, starting point and your destination and it will tell you if it's snowing or raining right now or you can s there is this slider on the bottom and you can slide and it will show you um, like at that time how the weather is going to be on that route and uh, the free version is uh, kind of limited but it's still uh, usable uh, but the paid version uh, is more advanced, I guess, and I don't use it that much, uh, so I don't, I can't vouch for it. I just know that this uh, app exists. So if it's uh, winter, if it's raining, snowing, you have uh, uh, strong winds, uh, then you can always uh, look up your weather uh, in one of these ways. Um, you can uh, uh, dispatch your truck uh, based on that. Uh, like if you if you go in the morning and then you come uh, to uh, your um, here uh, like weather.com and then you call, you look up whether we see uh, where it's uh, raining or snowing right now so you may not want to send your driver to this area you can send them anywhere else but not to this area but then then here you'll have major stories too and uh, it will tell you if there is a big storm coming or um, anything major like that like even here like yeah they have these uh, orange circles and that those are weather statements and uh, special weather statements and then you click on it and then it tells you here uh, well yeah this is an advertisement yeah they're sneaky like that so yeah and then it will tell you here uh, what you can expect and like i said this is a, a small video uh, nothing major, uh, just showing you the way I look up weather for my drivers. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, come back for more, subscribe to the channel, check out my website at neverstoptruck.in and here in the video description uh, there are some goodies, some links that you can use uh, uh, with some uh, discounts. Uh, those are affiliate links, uh, but uh, some of them will help you and save you money as well. And I'll see you around. Thanks for watching.